This teacher training video focuses on ways you can get more out of OneDrive at GPISD, such as by allowing you to communicate, share, and collaborate more efficiently and bring more satisfaction to you as a teacher and to your students as learners. This teacher training video is designed to give you some idea on how you can use Microsoft Office Online. By having access to Office Online anytime, anywhere, teachers and students are able to organize and prepare for projects, build on each other's ideas, and provide peer reviews using Word, collect ideas through Excel survey tools, and present their learning using PowerPoint, all within a collaborative space in OneDrive. Teachers will learn to utilize the free tools available to manage files, work collaboratively, and create a seamless transition between school and home. OneDrive is your online cloud storage solution that provides one terabyte of free storage for all your office online documents, PDFs, pictures, or whatever else you want to store. Let's get started. You will first want to go to the gpisd.org website. Here you will click For Staff where you will click Office 365. This will take you to the Office 365 login page. Here you will type your first initial at gpisd.org. It does not really matter what you type here as long as you put at gpisd.org. If you're using a different browser, such as Chrome or Firefox, you may get an additional dialog box that you'll need to log in with. This box will be asking for your network username and password, which is your first initial last name and your usual password you use to log on to the computer. If this is your first time, it will ask you to set the time zone for your email account. If this is not your first time, then you will be taken to your mail or an Office 365 splash screen like the one you see here, where you can access all that Office 365 has to offer. Later, you can make changes to this in your settings selection, not covered in this video. Whether you're on Office 365 splash page or in your mail, you will want to navigate to the OneDrive by clicking on the OneDrive tile or by clicking on the nine squares in the upper left hand corner of the browser window. This is the navigation window that will let you switch between applications in all of the Office 365 windows. Once you're in the OneDrive, it is real easy to navigate to your files. Your files will show up on this original window. You can create folders very easily by clicking on New, New Folder. This will give you an option to name it. Also, when you click New, you can create a new Word document a new Excel document, a new PowerPoint, a new OneNote notebook, or start an Excel survey. Create a new Word document by clicking on Word document. This will open up a Word document area. As you can see, it has the very similar things that you're used to, the ribbons at the top. The thing that you will notice is that there is no save button. You can have a save as, but there is no save button. To save as if you want to download it or save it as a PDF. It is saved automatically whenever you make any changes. The first thing that you want to do is maybe name your document. That's up here at the top. And then you can start typing. Say you would like a colleague to collaborate with you on this document. You can easily do that with the share button into the person's name. Notice as the list populates, the names that have numbers next to them are the students, and the ones without numbers are teachers. I'm going to share this with myself so that I can show you that each recipient would get an email, including the person that shares it. 
you have your options for sharing here. They can either view it or they can edit it. And if you shared it with other people, you can see who all has access to this document there. So I'm gonna share this document with myself. Notice that I've instantly gotten an email. I'm gonna click on my mail. And here is an email that says that I have shared a document. This is great because it gives the recipient easy access to that document as well as the person sending it so you have a confirmation that you've sent it. I'm going back to my OneDrive and reopening the document here. Now once the document is opened, I cannot edit it unless I choose to edit it. So I'm going to click Edit Document, and I can either edit in Word Online, which is what we were in, or the desktop version here. I'm going to continue to edit it online, and notice now the ribbons show up. Say, for example, that there were some features that are not in the online version of Word that I knew were in the desktop version of Word. I can click Open in Word, and it automatically opens up Microsoft Word. Here you can see that I've opened up the Word document and I'm using the program that is on the computer. If I click the Save button here, it will automatically be updated on the web. This means that whoever I have shared with has the most up-to-date copy of the document. Once you have finished editing your document, you can now close it. The easiest way to get back to your OneDrive is to click on your name in the top left-hand corner. This will take you back to your Documents folder in your OneDrive. There are some features here that I'd like to point out. Notice the three little dots. This is kind of a More button, which lets you edit the document straight from this area, share the document, and many other features here. To add things to your documents folder, you can easily upload here, navigate to where you left things, and it will add it, or you can merely drag and drop. You can do multiples. If you'd like to organize your folder, this can easily be done by selecting the documents Manage Move or Copy You can also do it by clicking on the More buttons Move or Copy Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you have any further questions, please contact your IMSs or IMAs.